This here is the MX Master 3S, as you can plainly see, by Logitech. This, I think, is going to be a decent mouse because of the side scrolling. That's why I'm interested in it. Apparently, this thing is pretty smooth. By the look of it, it looks like it would have some sort of clicks, but honestly, I don't think it's going to because that would be pretty annoying over time. So we're going to find out soon what's in the box by opening the box. The mouse, it's got the Bluetooth dongle to connect in case you don't have Bluetooth, and it's got a charger. This looks like USB micro, but I guarantee it's not. It's probably USB-C. And of course, documentation. SKU and UPC, if you want to check this out let's open it up and see what we've got oh, that's pretty cool the way it just sits in there closes right on top so it doesn't bounce around it's about what you'd expect for the weight it's not too heavy but it, it is a little beefy it's not super light oh that scrolling is very very smooth it makes no noise no clickety clicks at all this is pretty smooth too but it has the notch feeling like the little click 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 it's not very loud though it's got a couple buttons. You got your left, your right, and you can likely set these forward and back for uh, web pages or what have you. Light here, LED that is not on because this is not charged. And it does come with dongle there to plug in in case you don't have Bluetooth or you just don't want to use Bluetooth for whatever reason. I wonder if that stores in here if you're not using it. It does not. So I don't really care for that. I've seen some mice that this will store up inside of if you're not using so you don't lose it. This one does not do that. There we go. It is partially charged at least. Can't guarantee it's 100%, but we shall see. And you can connect to three different devices. So if you've got an iPad, computer, your phone, whatever you want, and then you can just switch between them. That That's pretty handy. I like when mice include that. That is a good feature. The packaging, I wouldn't say is too terribly premium, but it's decent. Of course, you got your documentation here and then the USB-C. And where does it charge? Oh, that's nice right there. They did not go the uh, Apple route and have it jam on the bottom so you can't use it. That would be horrid. It's nice that it plugs into the front. So if you're using it, yeah, it's gonna do that around uh, your desk area, but at least it is usable while you are charging it. It charges up to three hours in one minute. Yeah, there we go. Quick charge in one minute for three hours of use. Full charge lasts up to 70 days. I think the 70 days thing would be with whatever they say is standard or regular use. If you use it constantly for 70 days, that's impossible because a person can't stay awake that long. Let's get this hooked up and see how it works. I'll hook up via this and see how that works. I'm plugging it in right now. Turn this on. Oh, I didn't have to connect anything. It automatically just connected. Welcome to Logi Options Plus. We're gonna go install, say 400 megs. I don't remember, it was a quick glance. And a keyboard that we do not have, unpacking files. Go ahead and click that. Share data, sure, why not? Login, create account. I don't really wanna do that. Add device, smart actions, whatnot. So I'm clicking the left and right. It's not, okay, well I guess, set up, here we go. Pointer speed 50. This is a little slow for me, so I'm gonna go up to 70. That's about where I like, I like mine really touchy. So we got scroll, mode shift. Yep, just what I thought. Between ratchet and free spin modes? Oh, weird. So if you click this, it goes from click, 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 click to smooth. Press it and it releases that. That's crazy. Didn't even think that was an option. Horizontal scroll, thumb wheel. I do like when mice have this. Zoom in and out, volume up and down. Volume up and down would be a little bit annoying, I think, to, to bump that all the time on accident. Navigate between tabs, keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna go with the horizontal scroll because that's what I wanted to check this out for. So back, like I thought it would be, and forward, like I thought that one would be. We can connect up to three different devices. Gestures, click and hold the button. Oh, there's a button right here. You can press that. That's crazy. Click and hold in the direction you want to go. Oh, so when you click that, the mouse does not do anything once you move. Oh, man, we shut it down there. Desktop loud. That's pretty cool. I like that. I didn't know that was an option. I like that a lot. And of course, it just goes over everything right there. I use these two quite a bit, Photoshop and Premiere for the videos. That's nice that they've got different uh, settings for each one. Creating custom. I like that they call the onboarding there. We got a cat here. Down kitty kitty. Full direction default. So we've got the scroll wheel, standard, up, down, uh, pointer speed, you can change that. I don't like this. There we go. For some reason it just started working. We have up, down, left, right. That's that's a bit faster than the up and down. We'll see if I can adjust that. It is nice that they include this. I would really recommend getting the software for this if you're gonna get this mouse. And it stopped working again. I have no idea what's happening here. That is wild. It worked for a second and now it's not. Brush size, I don't want brush size. Horizontal scroll, there we go. Okay, it's working again. So global settings, I would like it across every app, but because they're individual up here, of course it's gonna set them individually. So either I am quite stupid or the software is not as intuitive as it looks. Anyway, the mouse is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. This uh, picture here, I got some tools stolen. 
uh, from work a few years ago. I luckily did get them replaced from a company. They were great. They replaced it because it was it was on their lot when it happened, so they're responsible for it. I didn't press it, but anyway, that's the story behind this picture. But yeah, the left and right does work. You can adjust it if you find it in the settings. Up and down is very smooth. There is no ratcheting option on the side scroll here. So that's it. I do recommend this. Part I don't like is twofold. I don't like that you have nowhere to store in this, the dongle for this. It just kind of free floats, and I know I tend to lose little stuff like that. I don't quite like the whole setup with the side scroll. I mean, we did get it to work, but it wasn't as intuitive as I would have liked. But still, I'm going to give this thing 9 out of 10 DPI because of the functionality. This feels really nice on the hands. The clicking, you can barely hear but it's nice to have that confirmation when you're doing a click. It's got the scroll without the ratchet. Let's turn that on so you can hear it a little bit. You can hear it a little bit. This is a decent mouse and it came partially charged. It's nice that it has it up here in the settings, the battery level connected via bolt receiver. And I believe that Logitech, you can get a couple different products. I don't know how many total, but you can connect to that bolt receiver, they call it a uh, keyboard mouse and some other stuff. And they all work off of the same one. You don't have to have a bunch of the receivers. So yeah, nine out of 10 on this. There is the UPC. If you want to check this out, let's try this out on an iPad. Try to get it to connect. Searching right there. One tap changes it. So it's on two, one tap to three, one. This is pretty standard. It is blinking to search for something right there. If you hold it for a second or so, it'll start blinking really fast, but it's already blinking right now. So click that right there. Pairing. Yes, we would like to do that. There we go. Let's play a game. Continue level. So nonogram, I'm going to go ahead and screw up on purpose. The right click and the left click do pretty much the same thing on, on this app. At least let's go open up a web page. here. We've got a GitHub for, what was that, Pie Boy? Let's scroll left and right. Yep, that works just as I would expect. And then the up and down, it doesn't seem to work at the same time though. You gotta give it a sec and then it'll go up and down. The left and right works right away, but you gotta give that a sec before the up and down will work. Clicking on the wheel seems to be a selection. Forward and backwards aren't working here. Do the thumb, that's cool, I do like that. If you click and hold down on the thumb, it will select. There you have it on an iPad. Works great on here too.